Okay, what we're going to do today is I have the uh, the rice and shine shoe shine box. I got this on uh, eBay. You can pick these up pretty reasonable. This one was a little cleaner when I got it, but this one's pretty old. I like the older stuff. So what we're going to do today, we're going to shine a shoe. Okay? Now if you've never shined a shoe before, it's a pretty simple process. A few tools you're going to need. One is a buffing rag. Two is an old ugly looking brush. And you know, just so my wife doesn't get upset at me, we're going to set this stuff right here. Next, you need either brown, clear, or uh, black. I'm using black for the color of the shoe. A little trick I have is a toothbrush. And the other tool you're going to need is a nice brush. Don't be afraid to spend the money on the right brush. I don't know what year this is, but it's a nice one. Horsehair. This one's a horsehair brush. So, I have never done this before, and I got this kit, and I, I thought, hey, I'm going to give it a shot. And it didn't come out that well the first couple times. Now, I actually run a lighter a little distance over this just to warm it up. I'm not going to do that for this video. So, what you want to do take your wax normally you know in the movies they show you a guy dropping a match in there but I'm just gonna heat up the edge and I'll show you why this is important I like to get a little flame going see there then we brush it okay that does that softens our wax up you're gonna dip your brush it gets ugly and yucky but we're gonna dip that in there and get plenty of uh, polish on it rub it around soften up our brush a little And the reason I think you use the stand is because you don't want it to get really dirty on the carpet. So all you do is rub every square inch of your shoe. Do the sides. Get a little more wax. And I do the rubber. I just do a light coat on the rubber, though. Okay. This shoe has a lot of detail in it, which is not a big deal. But uh, you want to take an old pair of shoes and make them look good again. I have a pair of shoes I've been wearing for around three years. My brother-in-law gave me. They were some expensive shoes. And after they get dirty, I just polish them about once every three to six months. Now, Bob, we don't need that brush anymore. I'm going to put that back where it goes. What's the toothbrush for, Bob? Well, right in here. gets all the detail in these fine cracks that other brush doesn't always work so I like to get it really good Putting on the buckle it's okay if you get some on the metal buckle and also check the rubber 
Make sure you got the rubber really nice. And the back. Uh, we can put our toothbrush up now. Now, what comes first? This or the towel? I've used that towel about 20 times and I'll probably use it 20 more times. It's okay. What I like to do is really softly the whole shoe rub it back and forth you can already see it's coming out getting a shine Go nice and light. Don't try and press too hard. I'm no expert at this by far, but I do it good enough where I get by with it. Now the top. the brush is the most important thing but uh, I mean without the wax you wouldn't have any need for the brush look how black and solid that is that's what we want okay Make sure you get the whole thing even in the back now Let's see if I can set my camera. Up. There. Take this and just go back and forth. horrible shoe to be polishing because it has so many curves on it. Just go really light. You don't have to put a lot of pressure. You're actually polishing the shoe now. This is where the polishing comes in. On a regular shoe, where you don't have a lot of the uh, buckles and the, the curves right here, this is a lot easier. You just can just go back and forth with your hand. But uh, you can take a 20 year old pair of shoes and make them look really nice now the last step that I like to do is make sure that none of the uh, wax went on the bottom of the shoe because the first thing that you're going to do is 
step down. So we're going to go ahead and twist that. Put your wax up. You want to keep that nice and sealed. Keep everything back in the same spot. And what do you think? Nice shine. It's all black. It all looks good. See how nice that shines? This all looks brand new and rubber. How do we do on the other side? Nice shiny. And uh, I did a pair of my other ones without all this on it today. And they came out really nice. Now if you want to get really detailed you can you can polish the metal but uh, this is actually a gray metal anyway it looks a little shiny right now but uh, I guess we could get some of the wax off of it that's about it guys that's how you uh, polish a shoe and if you miss a spot, you can always go back over it, and you'll know because the leather might be showing through it a little discoloring. But uh, this shoe came out pretty good. Now look right here. Take that toothbrush, rub it along this this brown part where the leather's coming through. And uh, that'll all be perfectly black. That's about the only bad spot we had. Now I got this one online. It's a rice and shine. Uh, sometimes this piece will be broke. And all you do is clean it out. Get all the old glue out of it. And then just re-glue it with a good wood glue. And you're probably good for another 10-15 years. Alright clean up any of the residue just so it's not going to drop on the ground and we just put that right back where it went and that's about it Well, if you have any questions, you can email me or make a comment on the video, and I'll answer you back. And thanks for watching.